Hi YouTube, welcome to your Who's Coming Towards You Oracle of Love reading. This will be a reading having a look to see who is potentially coming in with an offer of love, romance or relationships. Now there will be an extended version to this reading which will explore how your relationship will be when you come together with this person, any obstacles that the two of you may encounter or that may lay ahead um, and also what this person is wanting out of this relationship. Now the link to this extended version can be found below in the show more section. If you'd like a private reading, my email is listed below, also in the show more section. So please feel free to reach out via email if you'd like to arrange a private reading. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it's insightful. Thank you so much for watching and um, stay tuned. Okay, Taurus, let's have a look and see who's coming in for you for love, romance and relationships. Oracle of love for single Taurians. Um, for a sun, moon, rising and Venus who's coming up, who's coming towards you in regards to love for Taurus. Taurus, single, oracle of loves. Okay, the Hierophant. This is beautiful energy. This is also the sign of a Taurus, so it can be a fellow Taurus that's coming in uh, towards you here. The Hierophant is a beautiful energy. I feel like this person has expert knowledge or is quite intellectual um, in a very specialized field or um, study or something like this. So for some, I feel like it's an academic, it's a scholar, or it's someone that's on a higher journey of learning. They could be still at university. Um, they could be going back to university. They could be doing some sort of online course. I feel like this person is very curious minded um, and has a lot of wisdom. She wants to share a lot of wisdom, um, wants to soak up a lot of wisdom with the Hierophant here. But I do think they're quite intellectual and they they work or they study something that's very specialized here with the Hierophant card. Um, I feel like they're wise beyond their years, so they may be younger than you, they may be older. Nonetheless, they're very wise, they're very intellectual, and I think they're very life experienced. Um, they may have a passion for history um, or the natural world, so they could be quite spiritual as well here, Taurus. The Hierophant can symbolize marriage as well, so this person has been married before or engaged um, or is wanting marriage um, or engagement here. Um, I feel like they're at a point in their life where they're ready to invite those things into their life here, Taurus. So I think it's someone that's ready for commitment um, with the Hierophant card here. I feel as though some of you have connected or will connect from a distance somehow. I feel like maybe you've observed each other from afar, Taurus. You don't really know much about this person yet. They've caught your eye. So I feel like there's interest there. Um, they've definitely caught your interest, caught your eye in some regard here. But it's almost like you need to learn about this person. But they're... I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you learn about them. I love that they've got the Hierophant energy around them. Um, as I said, I feel like they'll keep you definitely very mentally stimulated here. Um, you know, they're deeply rooted. I feel like they're establishing themselves somehow or have established themselves somehow. So, you know, this is the tree of life. This person is coming in that can potentially change your life or change your, the course of your destiny. So this is quite powerful, Taurus. Wow. Okay, the sun, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo energy here. This person could be a fire sign ruled by the sun element. I feel like this person is very bright, very attractive, very outgoing, very charming, very alluring. I think they've got a very warm and engaging personality. I think they're quite friendly. They're very warm. Um, I feel like with the sun card here, this person is seen by a lot of people, especially with the Hierophant as well. So I'm not sure if they're famous in a way or they're on some sort of platform or they're in advertising or they have a large social media following or they're very well known academically um, or professionally. But I feel like there's something about illumination that is around them with the sun card. I feel like they're also a creator in one way. They create books, they create readings, they create... Um, uh, design works, um, they create business plans. I feel like they're in a period of creation right now in their life. I feel like they're, they're facing the sun, they're, they're pursuing dreams, they're pursuing something they feel that was meant for them, Taurus. I really like the energy this person is coming in with so far. This is absolutely beautiful. But sun energy speaks of passion. Um, it speaks of creation, it speaks of illumination. Um, you know, this person is a very kind soul and I think they're being very kind to themselves because at this point in time they're pursuing something that they've wanted to do for so long. So there could be massive changes that are happening around them right now, Taurus. But beautiful energy that they have around them. 
they have a zest for life. They have a passion for life. Um, they could also be fascinated by astrology, astronomy, or something to do with the cosmos as well. Or they could come from a region where it's quite warm and sunny, um, quite a hot destination here as well. Okay, the star card, beautiful Aquarius coming through here with the star card. This is someone that's destined to be in your path. This is someone that's destined to cross path, paths with you, Taurus. This is very powerful with the star card. I feel for some of you, it really reiterates that you've met from afar. Maybe you've found each other on social media. Maybe you're famous, Taurus, and this person follows you. Maybe they're famous and you follow them or they have a social media account and you're sort of following each other um, and you've got your eye on each other and you've had your eye on each other for quite some time for some of you. Whilst for others, I feel like this is a very... Um, a very beautiful moment where the two of you meet it's a very beautiful meet cute and this is the time when the two of you meet face to face possibly online this could be an online relationship for some of you it could be a long distance thing as well with the star card here but this is someone that comes in and has a lot of astrological compatibility with you this person is also in a phase of healing so they could be in the spotlight absolutely with the star card here they could be rising to fame but i also feel like this person is healing and this is very powerful they have the sun and the star um, this is someone that's enlightened in some aspect of their life. I feel as though they may have lived a troubled life or may have had something in their past that has made them who they are today. They're in a period of healing, um, healing within themselves, healing within their life, healing from a sickness or healing or recovering, financial healing maybe, um, healing in the physical form. But a beautiful energy surrounds them. But I definitely feel like they're in a, a on a high plane here, like, spiritually they're quite enlightened or they dabble in mysticism or astrology they're quite spiritual um this might not be something you're used to taurus i, I don't think they're as practical as you um definitely not as rational as you so i think this is where you're going to differ but i see for the most part astrologically the two of you could be very strong um, compat um compatibility wise um a beautiful card though this is destiny this is faith this is something you can't ignore uh with a star card this person is coming in could definitely be this Aquarius coming through as well. Two of Swords, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini energy here with the Two of Swords. This person could be at a crossroads or has had to make a very tough decision in their life, um, in their recent past with the Two of Swords. I also feel like you're going to come into their life at a time where they have someone else around them. I think they have the element of choice. Um, I also feel like there's very there's two distinct journeys they have to travel or they have to choose between here, Taurus. And this could potentially be life-altering for them with the Two of Swords. I also feel like in regards to love, they may have been single for quite some time or they may be healing from love. Um, I feel like they haven't had many relationships because they've been closed off to love before. Maybe they haven't found someone that's swept them off their feet yet. Um, maybe they haven't been ready for love because concentration has been within, has been on spirituality and healing within themselves. This could also be the case. Um, you know, maybe they've, they've, they've closed their eyes to something, but what I love is where they were blind, they can now see. So there's, they're having a lot of epiphanies or self-realizations about what they're here for, what their purpose is in life, um, is what I'm seeing with the two of swords. You know, this element of crossroads, this element of choice, they could have two different income streams. Um, they could be blocking themselves off to something. Um, they could also have a dual personality. Duality comes with the two of swords, which, which could translate back into a Gemini. So this person may have Gemini energy somewhere in their chart as well but they were blinded to something or they're still learning about themselves about love about what's supposed to be for them i think that the path is is slowly being shown to them um, is what i'm understanding i feel like this card wanted to come out four of pentacles taurus capricorn virgo energy coming through with the four of pentacles i feel like this person is quite dependent when they're in a relationship I feel like they, you could be compatible because you will be their anchor, Taurus. You will be the one that will apply logic, rationality, and reason to maybe what could be quite a um, an adventurous, free spirit, so to speak. So I, I also feel they're quite guarded with the Four of Pentacles. They 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 don't allow too many people into their life. I feel like they're not overly social. Um, 
you know, I think they have a few a few friends they're, they're um, very close with. Other than that, I feel like they're quite private in a way. Um, or even if they're famous or they're very well known, I feel like they lead quite a private life. They don't allow too much gossip into their lives is what I'm seeing with the Four of Pentacles. I also feel like they may have some sort of business idea or project they keep very close to them. Um, it could be like a creative pursuit or they could be very good with finances. They could be quite... Um, protective over their finances or work in protecting people's finances for, so, for some of you I feel like this person is a healer or a protector or is in insurance it's it's a role where they're working for a large company quite a reputable company um, and I'm seeing that there's there's protection here with the four of pentacles codependency yes I think this person is quite codependent but also protection or the needing to guard or protect something protect their heart protect their finances protect their creative ideas or something like this okay the fool this is Aries energy I definitely do feel like they're a free spirit I feel like they're either traveling right now or they're going to embark on travels I feel like they're a bit of a nomad maybe they're still finding their place in the world but the fool card can show sometimes they lose their inhibitions I also feel like this person is a hopeless romantic and believes in love believes in romance and everything love stands for so I really like the energy they're coming through with sometimes they're a bit naive and or gullible though as well is what I'm seeing with the fool card um, as I said, it can be someone who it, it takes a leap of faith, takes a, a leap of chance, uh, a, a chance, sorry, I feel like this person applies more feeling rather than thought. So again, I feel like they're ruled by their heart and their heart's desires rather by logic, which is, I guess, you're more ruled by stability, rationality and logic. So again, compatibility between the two because you are so different. Um, but sometimes they, they have gotten themselves in certain situations here, Taurus, where they've had the short end of the stick or they've they've felt hurt or they felt like they were taken advantage of. So I think they're still healing from this with the full card. But it can also show they travel a lot. They travel for work. They travel to pursue wanderlust. Um, you know, maybe they travel for wisdom. Maybe they have an interest in history, um, you know, healing, the spiritual realm, production. Maybe they're sort of trying to get into that industry. Um, they're still taking chances. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here with the Knight of Cups. This person is very honest. Whether they like it or not, I feel like there's a lot of honesty and purity that comes with the Knight of Cups. This person has a preconceived notion of what love and romance is, and I don't think they're willing to settle for anything less than that, Taurus. So for this, I think their standards might be quite high. Yes, I think in the past they've taken chances on people that have disappointed them, romantically and in a relationship maybe have taken advantage of them or not appreciated them for who they are their values their beliefs um and how they are as a partner uh, but i think with the knight of cups this person when they fall in love they fall in love there's purity with them here um they don't want drama they don't want games i feel like this person with the knight of cups there's they're willing to make a very beautiful offer here um I also feel like this person forms emotional attachment. So they may have water somewhere in their chart and they form attachment to please pay, uh, people, places or things um, is what I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups. But they could also offer, make a lot of offerings in their day-to-day -day job or in their life in some capacity. They could be quite sympathetic um, and offer to help anywhere that they can. Okay, the strength card. This is a strong Leo coming through actually with the strength card here. Someone with fire energy. Now they can be dominant when they want to be. So they're not exactly a pushover here, Taurus. They do know how to stand their ground when they get agitated or when they feel pressured. I definitely feel they've been in a leadership role in their life somewhere before. Either they've been dominant in a relationship or they're very dominant in their career. Um, strength exhibits a, a mental strength or a physical strength. So they may be quite athletic in appearance. Um, you know, they could be working on their mental or their physical strength. Um, I think they've got quite a strong character. So it could be an alpha male or an alpha female here. Um, but I think for the most part, um, they're not too dominant. I feel like they're possibly an alpha, but I don't think they're over the top. Like, I don't feel they're overly outspoken. I think they know their place, so they can be reserved as well here with the strength card. They could be involved in fitness or helping people find health or strength um, in some way. So physiotherapy, um, helping animals, working with animals, um, helping rehabilitate people, a spiritualist, a healer, a yoga instructor, a personal trainer 
possibly helping to strengthen people's finances here. So there could be an array of things that they do professionally. But I like that the strength card has come up because I do feel there's quite an alluring energy with the strength card too. You know I mean, it's quite sexual as well. You can see she stands her, you know, with her breasts out. So I feel this person is quite sexually confident as well. Um, high sex drive is what I get with the strength card and the Leo. I feel like there's fierceness. There's a lot of passion. When this person makes love, they really make love is what I'm seeing. So I think that's very exciting for you, Taurus. Um, very beautiful here. But yes, I feel like they're coming to a period of strength here, which is very nice to see. Let's have a look and see when and where the two of you will meet and see if any specific times come up here, Taurus, for when and where the two of you will meet. Taurus, Oracle of Love for Singles. Who's coming towards you? When and where? When and where? Okay, King of Pentacles has come up, which is your time. Four of Wands, the Devil, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, the King of Pentacles is seen as a Taurus, so you could be meeting around your birthday here, Taurus. Um, that's very exciting. Some of you might have some sort of birthday celebration, um, or you could just meet just after or before your birthday during that time of around April 20th to May 20th. There could be some event on around your birthday, and I think this is where you're meeting. Um, or it could be at quite a cultured place. It could be like um, at a place of elegance, at a place of design. It's a very nice decor around you here with the King of Pentacles energy. It could be through career as well, because the Pentacles do traditionally, traditionally, sorry, denote finance, commerce, and wealth. So for some of you, you are meeting through career and this could be a superior someone superior to you or you superior to them with the king of pentacles energy <clears throat> the four of ones can denote an engagement a wedding a celebration or an event at a public venue um, it's really a place where people are getting together to support or honor or um hold tribute to something or someone here. So it isn't quite an exclusive event maybe um, it could be set in a very nice venue here um, so I'm thinking it could be a, a, a celebration after work, drinks, an event, a day event, a night event that you're invited to when you get introduced, possibly through a Taurus or a Capricorn here or during these times that the two of you meet. But there's a lot of people there. There's festivities, there's music, there's dancing, um, there's events on, there's children. It's, it's quite a beautiful atmosphere um, wherever this would be. Now, the time of Capricorn has come up with a devil card. This could be later this year, December 22nd, January 19th, or you've met or you've made direct or indirect contact with this person during this time with the um, Capricorn card here. The Capricorn card can sometimes indicate um, it's a face-to-face -face meeting here for some of you, absolutely. There's a very strong physical attraction upon your first meeting, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is a one-night stand for some of you Taurians where you meet at an event and you take the relationship um, initially it might be a one night stand or a very sexually fueled evening uh, whether or not you sleep together or not um, I feel like you'll take it from there but physical intimacy is very strong and there's very strong, uh, very strong sexuality that oozes from the two of you here with the Capricorn card but look the Capricorn can develop um, can indicate um, I guess things that are a little bit more darker things that are a little bit more mysterious um, so it can be like you may be meeting at a, like a dating, a speed dating event for some of you. Um, you can be meeting at like um, a nightclub. It's somewhere where there's people, there's promiscuity that may be around you. So for some of you, it could be like, um, you know, meeting for the purposes of a sex club or, you know, something because the devil card is a lot of sexual energy. Um, you know, it could be at the launch, for the launch of a lingerie store, um, launch of a new um, lingerie line or, you know, something like this. It's something to do with the bedroom maybe. So for some of you, it could be a face-to-face -face meeting or it could be that the two of you meet. Um, you're instantly attracted to each other. Um, and, it, you know, it can indicate using substances as well. So I feel like some of you may meet over a night of drinking or... Um, or smoking you could be both outside smoking that's a substance and then the two of you ask for a light and then suddenly you're talking and then you connect very well from there so this could also be the case um if you're meeting around the Knight of Swords, you have a lot of things happening around you here, Taurus. I feel like there's there's an overwhelming energy. Now, there's people in these cards here, so I'm wondering if you're going to be meeting at a time where other people are wanting your attention and you're not able to express yourself or communicate with this person directly because there's too much happening. The Knight of Swords, it's pressured energy. It's a sense of urgency, I, and the Swords do rule communication, so I feel like there's a lot of people either trying to speak to you, trying to communicate with you, trying to have time with you, Taurus, and it's almost like you can't allocate time for this person uh, for some reason 
but they're coming in strong. I feel like the want is there um, or communication will be very fleeting and the two of you will talk and then suddenly someone will come along and distract you or there'll be a phone call or suddenly, you know, you have to sort of give attention to the next person here. So it's quite an overwhelming energy when the two of you could possibly meet. So look, I will leave it at that, Taurus. I do sincerely hope that has been insightful. Um, please remember these are general messages. They may or may not come true. Um, so please keep that in mind. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. The link to the extended version will be below um, to have a look and see how your relationship will develop. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. All the best and hopefully we'll be in touch soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.